Hi, this is Money from BSC to NSE.com. Uh, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, Elliott Wave Theory and just the basics uh, to get uh, you thinking about it. And uh, after that, you can just analyze the way you want based on it. Uh, subscribe to our channel so that you get uh, informed about all our interesting videos that keep coming up. So again, Elliott wave theory was uh, like framed way back uh, in the early 1900s, and it is based on the collector uh, collective investor psychology. Uh, basically, the natural mood swings between um, between investors on being bullish and bearish on the stock market or a particular stock, and uh, which is how the market moves. And trying to predict the collective uh, thinking that an investor or a trader has uh, is little difficult and Elliott Wave Theory is the closest theory that uh, tries to help us there. And we'll, uh, I'll give you examples on the charts like Bank Nifty. Um, <clears throat> so in the typical bullish index or a stock, um, the expectation is that we'll have three phases of bullish runs or bullish waves and then followed by two uh, step downs or two uh, waves of bearish waves. So after that again it's expected to enter into a new Elliott wave. Uh, <coughs> so again you can apply this on all time frames. You can apply it on the intraday in the 2 minute uh, chart or the 5 minute chart. And you can see Elliott wave theories and patterns happening at the 3 month chart. And you can see a different Elliott wave uh, that happens in the one year chart and a different Elliott wave that you can see in the five year chart. And again, you can just keep expanding the chart and you can even look at the 50, uh, 10 year chart, 15 year chart, uh, 50 last 50 years chart. You may see totally different Elliott waves getting formed. I'll again show uh, examples of that. So typically the wave one or the first wave of uh, the bullish wave or I should call this wave three and wave five because wave two is a short correction after wave one or the first bullish wave and before a wave one gets started the sentiments are normally weak and uh, so uh, most likely wave one is created by value investors who try to uh, or investors who try to find the bottom in the stock market. So uh, people who are trying to do value investing or buying on dips. So mostly uh, the wave one is generated by uh, investors like those. And when there is news th that is assisting a reversal. Uh, so normally it is tough to predict the wave one and it's mostly not advisable to uh, always try looking for the wave one. So wave three uh, or the second bullish wave is where uh, the smart investors get in because they know that wave one the sentiment had turned a bit and then they'll wait for the correction to end and uh, they the, and even more smart investors will wait for the highs of the wave one to be taken out before they enter. So that is uh, uh, thought to be the start of wave three and uh, the smart investors will get in and wave 3 is expected to be the uh, highest in terms of rallying and then wave 5 is when uh, people are extremely bullish and everybody jumps into the market so uh, to the uh, 2008 rally or the markets rallying between 2006 to 2008 uh, was considered to be the wave 5 wherein everybody jumped into the stock market <clears throat> so again you will understand this more when I show it in the graphs and typically uh, you can normally combine Fibonacci with uh, Elliott wave theory to actually find out which levels it will correct back to and you can watch my uh, other video on Fibonacci to get more ideas on that. So let's now move on to the chart uh, enough with the introduction part. So uh, this is just an example of how an Elliott wave will look like and for example like I said uh, this is the start of the wave. So this is wave 1 and wave 1 uh, the end of wave 1 is marked here. So like I said this is the highs of wave 1 or the first wave. So smart investors will look to enter in here. 
will definitely look to enter in here I'll just mark it in green and uh, little bit more right so that you can see the smart investor will look to enter here when the highs of wave 1 is taken out right so we'll not even like to predict uh, this particular correction and this could be uh, like I said um, like a 60 percent or uh, less than uh, uh, 20 30 percent retracement of his entire high so a smart investor will look to go and uh, go long here and we know that uh, this is the wave 3 and it hits a peak and again it corrects and again once this highs are taken out again a smart investor may look to get in here right and then um, the idea for a long I mean for someone who is looking to predict um, and we know that typically here you can see that each wave is making equal amount of upsides so based on this uh, wave 2 uh, or the wave 3 rally let's say this has rallied 100 points I'll expect a 100 point rally in wave 5 also so I will look to exit somewhere um, I'll just mark it in red here somewhere here when I see a reversal like a v-shape reversal so I will look to exit here right and then like I said we have three waves of rally and then two waves of step down and typically this uh, uh, second wave is normally like a 40 percent retracement of this entire bull rally here that you find so we basically have a rally from here till here and you can expect this to be this red line here to be the 40 percent retracement right so and again uh, this uh, the bigger wave here this could be in a, like a five year chart and if you look at the one year chart or uh, look at the yearly chart it could be something like this wherein wave one is actually broken down into uh, uh, a separate Elliott wave wherein five uh, the wave five is actually completed and you could have multiple uh, Elliott waves when you look at the uh, yearly chart and if you look at the three month chart it will still be broken down and you can see even more Elliott waves so I will try to again show this uh, in with examples of bank nifty okay so I'll show you real actual charts this is more like an ideal uh, Elliott wave chart so let's move on to the real actual chart so this is like bank nifty and uh, this is actually the five year chart I'll show you at the bottom you can see here that like Jan 2010 and today's date is 2014 so this represents uh, last five years chart uh, meaning um, uh, let me just draw a line this is from Jan 2010 to Jan 2011 so this block itself is one year this represents one year and again let's try to identify like uh, the Elliott waves here and this is again like I said bank nifty and this represents the five year chart so let me get my green lines out here right so I would uh, say that this here is wave number one uh, how do I this here for me is wave number one this here for me is wave number two and this is wave number three for me right so you have wave one wave two and then wave three right and then basically you need to have two step downs and again here the nifty PE peaked and uh, you can identify uh, you can watch my separate video on how to identify the peaks so this is step one in the downside and this is step two on the downside okay so this is wave one wave 3 and then wave 5 and then followed by two step downs and again you can see that um, let me uh, so this is bank nifty at 5000 the rally started at 5000 it ended at 13000 here and then uh, it re retraces back to like 50 percent uh, of this entire rally and then it's again starts a fresh wave okay you can see on the right here the levels 
it started at 5000 the high point is 13000 14000 in bank nifty so let's continue drawing Elliott waves again like I would like to remind that this is the five year chart so this is again wave number one you can see the green line that I'm marking so this is the correction phase right and then uh, this I would consider it as the wave two combine and then this I would consider it as my wave three so three waves although it need not be the it will not be ideal waves in real life uh, but you can see that uh, you'll have um, pretty much three rallies this is not considered wave 2 because this is not breached this point here has not breached the previous highs here so I would consider wave 2 as going up to here it's not much than wave 1 but uh, it's still something right so I would consider this to be or uh, this entire piece to be wave 2 and then this correction and this I would consider it as wave 3 and then it again steps down uh, in two uh, two ways one step one and then step two right or I will just put like this right so it uh, steps down in two ways it breaks and you can see some upside correction here and then again it drops heavily and then uh, you have I would kind of classify this entire phase as wave one and then you have a correction here and then wave 2 we are uh, wave 2 has still not ended we are in middle of wave 2 somewhere let's say wave 2 could continue assuming uh, May 16 elections turns out to be positive this can head upwards towards 14 above 14,000 to up to even 15,000 so that will mark the end of um, uh, wave 3 and then I would expect uh, it to correct somewhere here and then it will start wave uh, 5 like this and then followed by a major fall uh, let me mark the major fall in red so this is my expectations uh, like it may correct back to something like this right so again this I'm drawing uh, we don't know the future yet but assuming uh, the election uh, comes out positive so this is how I will expect the markets to behave uh, it will continue to rally and then uh, it will uh, consolidate for a while and then wave 5 will start wherein everybody starts jumping into the market and they push the markets higher so again like I said this is the 5 year chart you've seen the 5 year chart now I will uh, let's move and I've I've taken uh, the 1 year chart we'll now let's look into the 1 year chart again at the bottom you can see this is between May 2013 till May 2014 here correct so this is this entire chart represents only one year and I'll show you many Elliott waves that we can see alright so we had an extreme bearish time when uh, the currency was uh, failing last year so let's pull it down here we have one corrective correction wave and then followed by one more correction wave so there's like two waves or again in between you can see that there will be many uh, many other Elliott waves within this one single wave itself so that we will see when you when we look at uh, the three month chart and so on and in the at the intraday level also you can see Elliott waves happening right so I'm just gonna quickly mark the waves and this is wave one this is wave two clear wave two and then clear wave three so three waves are over and then again it follows up with a couple of negative waves here one step one and then step two right so two step downs and you can see that this low does not breach below the previous lows of like 8000 or so right and we can see uh, I can consider this to be wave one or I can consider this entire phase to be wave one right and then it consolidates for a while uh, for almost like a month and then it begins wave 2 of course in this case it is not corrected by much it just stayed almost at the peak uh, and we can see wave 3 as a result of the elections it's possible but <coughs> since elections is a major event if it turns out to be negative wherein BJP does not get the majority I would not be surprised if it doesn't form the wave 3 and it can just directly come back and I would expect it to drop down almost to here pretty much instantly 
right now let's we finished the uh, one in one year chart let's move on to the three month chart right this is the three month chart and within the three month chart you can see like uh, multiple waves happening so let's quickly like mark it so from here to here and it consolidates again wave 1 wave 2 and again we consolidate for a while and then wave 3 okay so again within this you can see multiple waves like you can you have wave 1 then the correction wave 2 and then we've had wave 3 so there are various ways that you can interpret uh, looking at the Elliott wave uh, when you and again normally uh, when you look at the five year chart and one year chart you'll get a lot of meaningful movements that are happening but as you drill down um, you'll see various cases where it works where it cases it doesn't work and if you look at the intraday chart this is the intraday chart this is uh, you can see here on the right April 29 uh, this is 2014 right so let's like quickly try to mark here uh, I'm gonna like step one okay I need a bigger line step one and then step two on the downside and then let's just say from here to here is step one uh, wave one on the upside right and then uh, wave two on the upside it consolidates again and wave three so again it drops back you can see like three small uh, waves here like quickly one two and of course the third one does not happen so you can like pretty much say this is wave two and then um, it tries to bounce back of course it doesn't form anything here here you, you can pretty much like see that uh, there's nothing getting formed so um, the other way you can look at it here is uh, it's an entire negative day wherein it had a short downside step one on the downside and the correction phase for uh, let me just take this everything out uh, just, uh, I hope you understand uh, this is the entire phase of step one on the downside and this is the corrective phase between uh, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. this is the entire corrective phase and then followed by step 2 on the downside right so let me try to quickly get that and show you to explain in a different way because today was like an entire bearish day and uh, let me quickly get that So I just wanted to like explain the intraday chart like just one more time. I'm gonna uh, no this. Yeah, I think we got it. So let's look at the daily chart, right? So again, basically, this is what I wanted to explain like quickly before we finish off. Like step one, this I can consider this to be the step one, and step one on the downside, and then you have a upside correction. This, of course, does not breach the sixty percent on the upside during the day, and then step two, finally, it uh, crashes. So this is what I wanted to convey and uh, that's it for Elliott wave theory and if you have any comments or any questions please post on this video and uh, if you want to join us in Zerodha you get a free training on futures and options subscribe to our channel and that's it for now thank you bye bye